Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Today, viewers, I'm going to be um, dealing with 10 aspects uh, of advice, a lesson that the Muslim Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam have asked us to do. And if you do this in our life and practically as it go into our system, it will rejuvenate our iman, our belief system. It will invigorate us and give us the strength to continue. After all, the messenger was sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be the guide for the whole of mankind. And the best jihad, according to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is speaking out against injustice. Even if it is a king or a leader of the community, it is doing something contrary to Islamic legislation, it is your duty as a Muslim to rectify the wrong that go out according to what he has asked the people to do. So speaking out uh, against uh, 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 you know, the wrongdoing that is going on is the biggest jihad according to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Number two, the Muslim Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, he is not of me who tried to create a sabiya. A sabiya is the concept of uh, you know, divisionism. Me, 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 and me, or us, 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 and us. Or tribalism. I belong to this party. You don't belong to this party. That is asabiya. Someone or, or a system that was created to bring divisionism. When Allah said, "Wahtasimu bihablullahi jamia," so the messenger said, he, uh, "He he is not of me who is trying to create divisionism among the ummah." That is number two. Number three, the messenger said, "A believer is someone that wish for his brother what he himself want." Most of the time, we see a lot of people doing things contrary to the law of nature. When in fact, if that same thing is done unto them, they get angry. So uh, a believer is the one who wish good for his own brother. That is what the messenger said. Number four, uh, believers are like building, you know, that stand erect and solidify. Within that brick, you will see a mortar which bind the two, making it very strong. So a messenger said, the believers are like building. They always have to, you know, hold on to each other. And that is something that is missing within the system of Islam. And number five, the messenger said, beware of injustice because it's the same thing that is going to burn you, it will turn into a, you know, a, 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 a hollow or a wallowing fire which will eat someone that is always meeting up injustice to people. So beware of injustice. This is for the leaders, community members who are at stake, you know, those who have the community, you know, within their grip. The messenger said, beware of injustice because eventually, that injustice which no one have the power to override you here, it will become a fire and that fire will eat you in the day of Kiyama. So we should be very, very careful hampering on injustice. The messenger also said, number five and number six, there is a reward for any good act, even to take anything that is detrimental uh, on the ground so that nobody will stumble on it. Even if you give uh, an animal, you know, you help an animal, a dog, a stray cat, or something. Whatever you do in Islam, it's all about accumulating blessings and reward. In the day of Kiyama, you will see all this thing. And number seven, the messenger said, remember your own faults. We have a lot of faults, but today we see a lot of people passing judgment uh, onto their brethren, which is very, very wrong. How would you pass a judgment onto your brethren when you yourself have a lot of stuff, a, a hidden skeleton in your closet? So I'm the first to, you know, explain to mankind that really, uh, you know, uh, my shortcomings is so much that I can't, I don't even have time to pass judgment on somebody else. Number eight, the messenger said, I am sent to perfect morals and good deeds. He came to this world to perfect morals and good deeds. And so therefore, you have to inculcate as a Muslim good moral edifice in yourself so that the world will see it at large and they will begin to copy it. And that is why I am sent into this world. So the messenger also said, number nine, that the best house is the house that, you know, orphans are being fed. The best house is the house that orphan are being clothed. And today we see a lot of party going on and the, um, the poor and the orphans are always left outside struggling with the bones. So the messenger said, no, 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 no. The best house is the house that people who are very poor are being invited uh, to have the lunch. And number 10, uh, uh, the messenger said, let him do whatever he wants. If you don't have any shame, the messenger said, do whatever you want.
And today we see a lot of stuff like that. We see people dancing openly, naked, outside. I'm not talking about the women, but as a whole, you would see um, people doing certain shameful act outside. The messenger said, if you could do all this thing, that means you don't have shame. And so he said, let do whatever you want. If you don't have shame, the messenger said, you could do whatever you want. And I think uh, if we could use this 10 aspect of our advice given by the Messenger of our life would be beautiful and we'll be like angels walking the earth. In other words, we would be angelized. That is the best 10. So try it as much as you can to um, put it in your life and you will see the bigger change that will come because your community will notice that and they will comment on that and say, okay, Mr. So so and so have changed or she has changed a lot based upon what she's done. And people would like to copy you and do the same thing.